hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're here you know brows done I prime and we're ready for a new video I just got another palette from makeup by Yolanda and I'm like okay you know new palette why not go ahead and create something cute so if you want to see what look I come up with then guess what keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so we're here. I put my lids. I did my brows a little bit different today because I have this giant ass pimple right here. So because of that, I had to do my brows differently, and I actually like it. It's, it's kind of like smaller, which might be a good thing. We'll see. So the palette. So this one is the Jamrock Universal Palettes. I like it's all you know, kind of Jamaican flaggy. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so this palette looks like so. And we're just gonna go jump on it. Last time I did my makeup, I actually did one eye and then moved to the next eye, and I kind of like that idea. So I'm gonna do that again this time. Don't forget, you know, to subscribe to the channel. What are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Okay, no. My rant is over. Let's go. I'm just kind of like making sure I have no creases. I'm not sure why I'm doing both eyes since. You know it's gonna crease again by the time I'm ready for the other eye. And I prime with my pillow with base, you know. Same stuff. Now let's go to I'm gonna use this brush. This is the M506 from Morphe. And I'm gonna go into you know what? I'm gonna go. This is like a shimmer, but I'm gonna see how it's gonna work. I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Gutty. I wonder if it's like these are like Jamaican terms. Yeah, because good good is a Jamaican term. Okay, so let's go ahead with Gaudy. And I'm just going to place this in my crease. Ooh, this is a shiva. I don't know if this is going to work. But we'll make it work. If it doesn't like blend, I can go ahead and put something else in there. Or, or over top. I'm just tamping it in my crease. I'm not really blending it. No blending, just coating the crease like this, like just making like a like a kind of a not kind of. I'm doing a semi-circle. This shade is so pretty. Okay. When you're doing your makeup, one thing I'll advise is always just have like a rag. This one is kind of dirty, but you know, I have a few clean spots on it, but I always have like a ton of like rags just like next and I just kind of clean up my brush like this because I still want kind of some of the blue on there, but not all to make it just super, I don't know, what shade should I put on top of this? Okay, so I'm going to use the same brush and then I'm going to go into this shade right here called Yadi and I'm just going to put it like literally right on top of that blue and I'm just gonna like stamp it like right there like right here I'm not blending I'm just stamping it okay now I'm gonna clean back that same brush and I already know what shade I'm gonna go into. It's like a really light green and it's called Tropical. And now I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Tropical and I'm gonna put that on top of that dark green, kind of like, I'm just gonna put it. Same thing, just, you know. This eyeshadow is blends so well, like it's so good. The, the palette, like, and it's not just this palette, so let me take that back because the other one that I use just blends so well. And I like bringing my shadows all the way to my brow. Okay, this is preference. You don't have to bring it all the way there. I just like to bring it all the way there. It's all preference, people. Like, it's not that serious. So how pretty this is this is so cute so now 
I feel like I lost some of that dark green, so we're gonna go back into Yardy. And I'm just gonna put this right here. And now I'm gonna go back into Gaudy, which was that blue, and I'm just gonna put it right here. And then back to that green. Man, this is good. See all these giant people are here. I don't know what's happening to me and them pimples. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm gonna clean this up. I'm actually gonna use some Vaseline to clean up that a little bit. <clears throat> I'm thirsty. So this is a T48 from Makeup Shack, and then we're gonna go in with our Vaseline. Oh, I saw this girl did that um, bits by Deb, and she, but, uh, it worked great. So I'm just gonna use that technique. Yeah. So this is harder to come off. I guess because this is like a shimmer. Thank God I'm only doing like one eye on camera because this is annoying. Yeah, because I do that because it, what I've noticed when I do that, it takes off like the bulk of the blue or whatever shade that you use it there. So it doesn't like kind of take over that shadow, if that makes sense. Because when I put my primer, then it's like the color of the primer. 75 years later. Okay, so now that I've done that, which took a hundred years, I'm gonna take a wipe. Like so, okay. Now, I'm gonna use this brush right here, and this one is from um, Showstopper. That is the Cot Crease Blush. And I'm gonna go in with my blank canvas from P. Lewis. Here. Now I have blue shadow like all under my nail. And I put it kind of at the back of my hand like so. And we're gonna go in with the blush. This brush is like so good for pot creams. Like it's so good. See, because then this is nice and white. Now, I'm gonna go back to this brush, which is the one that I was using to clean this up with the Vaseline. I'm gonna take off that blue on there. Cause I have a little bit of blue. And now we're gonna go into this shade right here called Glow, which is like a shimmer yellow. Oops, and I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to that same brush and I'm gonna go back to Gaudy And I'm just gonna like tap this like around here. So this looks like a little bit like blended kind of Perfect I love how this eye came out. This is like so cute Okay, so that's it for this eye so I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and both eyes are done. I actually really, really, really like how this look came out. Um, let's go ahead and put some um, liner. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Real Beauty liner. This liner is really, really good. Just gonna do like a baby wing, nothing big. See, cause me and these wings, we're not best friends, so it's gonna be like teeny. I hate doing wings on like like shimmer slash glitter, cause then those are like harder. But yep, that is done, done, done. Now let's move to the face. This pimple is like pissing me off, but I'm not gonna do too much on that. Let's put a little bit of pharmacy moisturizer, just a little bit. 
Because I took a shower and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go record and then I took a nap. So I did moisturize my face before that. So yeah. I'm gonna use this primer from Airview Beauty. I got that in my boxy charm and I've been really, really liking it. So I've got it and I've been in love. <laughs> so good. It's almost like um how should I put that? Like another moisturizer. It feels so good in the face. So good. Now I'm gonna go in and put a little bit of painterly in my smile line and I'm gonna use my little sponge from Real Techniques. Just right here, like so. Just you know to make sure the foundation doesn't crease there. That's it, not too much. And now, what foundation am I gonna use? Let me Huda it up. Brown Sugar from Huda. They actually have a new foundation, which apparently doesn't have a smell, and it's, it kind of like has a luminous finish, I guess, a kind of matte luminous a little bit, or maybe, maybe semi-matte luminous. I want to try this and I'm putting this on my 732 I'm going in with this formation because man I have this giant ass people that just need to get covered you know what I'm saying but it needs to be like gone I like who the foundations this like if I'm gonna get the other foundation and if I like it and it doesn't have that smell like that's like so good because the smell I feel like it's the issue with this foundation I love the coverage but it is the smell is strong and you don't have to do a lot um, maybe like two pumps yeah I feel like two pumps would be good Man, uh, yeah, this foundation is kind of on the heavy side, but it, it, it's it's heavy or oh, it's full coverage, but it's not crazy heavy. Let me see it like that. So you can still see that pimple though, because that one is like a big boy. And I actually just, these pimples are huge. Just so you guys know, so I washed my face first, as I said previously, and... I put some stuff on there so the makeup doesn't go like right to the pimple. I mean, it still goes on top of it, but I have like a barrier or multiple barriers because I have that product, I have a moisturizer, and then I have a primer. So, just to make sure that the makeup doesn't just go directly on there, let's bring this down a little bit. I try not to recall when I have like these damn pimples, but important word, try. It doesn't always work out. I mean, it just is, so. I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star corrector, and I'm putting a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. With these, less is more. Let's use this brush. This is the E28 from Morphe, and I'm just gonna use this to blend this. I love this brush to blend this. This is actually an eyeshadow brush, but I use it for this because it works so well. I have some brushes that I use from Morphe that's like really, oh, I really, really, really like, but it looks like they, I don't know if they're going out of business, or oh, they discontinue them. Why am I saying going out of business? Discontinue them. And I kind of looked because they were like really really inexpensive but I like them for like my bronzer and stuff so I order a few because Morphe has a nasty habit for that it's like you get something that's really good and then they discontinue it and I'm like I like this so why are you discontinuing this and I'm gonna use my C14 or C14.5 concealer I feel like I've been bringing my concealer too much out, maybe. So I'm gonna leave it like so. And then I'll, I'll kind of buff it out, I guess. 
this is good we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer or foundation stick from makeup revolution but I use it for my contour I know this is like really really dark but this works like really good for me so it's right here and it's an E34 from Morphe this brush is so good like so good see but that's just it just blends it out like so good and this is the brush that you know it looks like they're gonna discontinue so you know I stock up but that's like kind of annoying because then if they do discontinue it and I use it on my channel and you guys really like it then you can't get it so that's like my only issue with that these brushes are usually like $20 and now I think they had them for like $5 and change or $6 and change so if you like this brush I would advise you to get a few I don't know if they're gonna discontinue it but usually that's what they do when they put it like so inexpensive and I'm like don't please don't I don't know let me give you guys an update though like I've I think you know I can't remember which video I said I was you know I was getting a peloton and it's there and before COVID started like I was working out like literally five days a week sometimes six days a week and when COVID started, like, I stopped going to the gym and I, I stopped working out. I'm going to be honest, like, I stopped working out. And I gained a lot of weight, like, but now I'm back to this. I'm going to try to do, like, work out, like, six days a week. Although, I've already had, a, you know, a little bump in the road because we had um, a really bad snowstorm and... You know we had no water so i put that kind of on hold but i'm hoping but i'm back now so i woke up yesterday and today when i first started i was only at like 30 minutes because i'm like oh my god this i'm dying but i have increased it to 30 minutes oh sorry from 30 to 45 and i have increase my intensity when i first started like my intensity was like at zero because i was like dying or oh, that's how it felt and then i move so now my intensity i move it up to 40. so now i'm at 40. i'm like i mean i still have a longer to go don't get me wrong like i know that but i'm super 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 excited that I, i'm able to do this much like before corona I was doing like you know 20 30 miles on the bike in an hour no when i first started i was doing like five now i'm doing nine so you know i'm increasing it we'll see now i'm gonna go back to this brush and i'm just gonna do this like so just kind of like Mess with the edges a bit so it's like nice and you know you know i had another dentist appointment oh my if you're new here i'm getting an implant done and the process is ridiculous like it takes forever forever but okay so now i'm gonna go in with my beauty bakery powder and i'm gonna put that in on that muda complexion brush and i'm just gonna stamp it I like this brush for this. It's so good. It's my little bag. This is my bag I used to like take to work. That have all my stuff in there. And I think my powder is in there. So this, yeah, this doesn't have that much in it. But it's a, uh, my Microsoft powder. And it's a medium, 30. Yeah, this is, this is done. Let me just use my... Charlotte Tilbury powder because there's nothing in there. Let's go to that lower lash line and let's get that popping. I'm gonna use this this canvas and I'm just gonna put like a little bit. Oh, and this is on an M41 from Morphe. 
for my mascara I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury pillow tuck mascara I'm gonna use this this is saucy from body B lashes let's use those me and my lazy behind and then this is a 710 and it's a short shader brush from Luxie and I'm gonna just kind of like mimic the same thing I'm gonna do the blue I'm gonna put some green you know just the same thing I mean when this bold ass eyes is just so like baffling to me because when I first started makeup you would, you could not get me to wear this I used to wear something like nude because I know I go as bold as it can be okay and we're gonna do the same thing clean up the brush because I am I do want to go with Yadi which was the dark green and then we're gonna go with the lighter green so we're just pretty much doing the same thing baby's back can hear my garage open so I'm like okay, he was gone for a second now he's back no we're gonna go into tropical which is that light green shade and I'm just gonna buff that and now I'm gonna do something else a little bit I'm gonna bring down that yellow dong 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 that glow let's glow down so and this is on a Jaclyn Hill 39 that's her collab with Morphe's love it and I'm done with this palette this, this, this is a good let's put let's put this this is from Marc Jacobs and which, which shade is this is this um oh odyssey so i'm gonna put that in my waterline i love this look it's kind of bold but you know let's use this one this is a e4 from morphe let's go ahead and use kiss by the sunny and this is by Vesca. let's use this blush I mean, you know, take away that extra bagel that I had today. Well, not extra, but I actually had a bagel for breakfast. So after the dentist, we went to Einstein's bagel, and you know, have so now I have to like contour that extra bagel away. Let me put this on a lash. I actually got these. This is just a Z palette from Ulta, but I got this from. I got them from Target and these are called, these are from BDB which is like billion dollar something. But I'm going to use this shade right here today. This one is called Passion which is this shade. That's my favorite shade in there. So, And I'm going to put this on an M462 from Morphe. So they're not like super pigmented as soon as you add them. You, you do have to build them up but I love them. And that can be good for blushes, you know, because then you, you get to build up to what you want. Because if they're super pigmented, sometimes you're like screwed. Like you put it and then you're like, Ooh, you can't fix it. I'm going to use this brush right here. It's an L15 from Laura Lee. And I'm going to use from the same company, but I'm going to use a different shade. I'm going to use Illusion for my highlighter. These highlighters are kind of like subtle. They're not like, you know, bold in your face. Sometimes that's a good thing, maybe. Yeah, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Now let's go and use this brush, right, this brush, this sponge right here. And I'm just gonna take my powder. This is a uh, this is actually from ColourPop and what what shade is this? It's one of the lippy sticks, and this one is grunge. Maybe I'll use that. Let's put a little gloss over top. Let's use Mouthful from Jeffree Star. Yep, 
That's a good glass. Okay, so that's it guys for this video. Oh my god, like, I love this look. I love this look, like I love, you know, maybe not so much the bando, but I really like how this look turned out. So, don't forget, you know, you guys can check out Yolando or Makeup by Yolando. Her eyeshadows are bomb, 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 and you should definitely dress, just, you know, check them out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the family, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.